you because it's so amazing uh, the amount of I mean just the uh, and it was so well done and, and the whole uh, reconstruction it's so difficult to do these things uh, uh, I'm, I'm really amazed and uh, but <laughs> it's a, a very very honored once again and uh, it's it's been uh, it's just been an amazing experience, and a uh, lot of people are, are want to, uh, especially perio and also surgery. These are things which are very people really want to get into. So um, it's something which uh, we really everybody would want to benefit like that. Thank you very much, sir. Obviously, there's a lot of preparation. Uh, for this type of cases. So today you had a taster because uh, the full documentation of the, of the cases it is, is a different time of lecture. Um, and obviously the people that I know can understand that. But we just want you to have a view of the amazing things that we do here because we are the trauma center. And when you are the trauma center, the cases that you got can vary from something very simple to something really, really advanced. And, um, in our times, Asa, a long time ago, we, we didn't have that opportunity to have the connection and uh, the collaboration at that level. Uh, and now uh, the time is different. So we got that pathway that people can um, you know, extend the skills in oral surgery, or raising clubs, and then implant dentistry is getting very, very easy. But the, the main issue that we've got in our specialty, and I, I need to highlight that, is not our skills, it's how we convince people to change habits. How we can make them healthier, how we can make them actually um, understanding that oral health is very, very important. Exactly. That's that's the food for thought. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. What's really what's really interesting um, is that um, I've said this in my training. So we live um, in an environment whereby 80 percent, is it 80 percent of our population around here have periodontal things. Right. And no surgeon, uh, no back-to-back surgeons ever taught anything in their training about period disease other than what they learned as a dental graduate. When I see um, work that uh, Dr. Tommy does um, with um, like the Blanche, um, I can tell you I presented that um, her slides, acknowledging her, of course, in Brazil. Um, and the people ask me more questions about that than some of the free flaps and some of the, the more complex stuff because they can see that as something they can take translate to their practice that can make a difference to a patient that they were treating. So for me, you know, periodontology really is the, really the classic surgery of the dental world. Um, and at last, I get a sense that actually this voice is being heard. And I think there's no better place to make your voice heard than, than, uh, than here, actually. It's, it's, as I said, it's a match made in heaven. Both surgeons are uh, very very, very dexterous and, and amazing and we were, we were really, we, uh, we loved each and every of the, the videos and uh, everything which was done and uh, I mean it was something and I, I also had a bit of nostalgia by looking at the Royal London so the, <laughs> <laughs> and definitely I will not have that catfish, uh, I, I did stay away from there. But uh, it was, it's, it's just, it's, it's a trip down memory lane and uh, I, I, I want to thank you for that too and, and uh, the super, uh, I mean both of you uh, have, have really, uh, uh, really enlightened us a lot and, uh, and I also want to thank Dr. Hussain as well who, who took his time as well and, uh, and I think I see Dr. Bill, she's also a Queen Mary uh, alumni. So we have two, uh, uh, like three uh, people from Queen Mary and we really watched for it because uh, I learned so much and it was like a whole eye opener, the amount of things because as I said in Pakistan we don't have that many periodontologists. So I, I really was indebted and I learned uh, a completely new facet and uh, things which really uh, has helped me and, and has brought, forwarded me in so many aspects. 
So I'm very grateful to you, Dr. Dominiki, and and, uh, and Professor uh, uh, Simon. Uh, it, it was lovely. Um, I I feel that uh, we we are blessed, and and uh, we just we gonna we pray that you stay safe during these tough times as well. I'd also want to talk uh, tell Dr. Hussain to maybe he could say some concluding remarks. Yes, thank you, Dr. Ashton. Uh, yes, the views of the White Chapel area was also nostalgic for us because they were uh, uh, me and my 